My name's Ranjit, and I live in Bombay. It's a huge city in India where over 10 million people live. That's why there's always an incredible racket in the streets. But since I was born here, I'm completely used to it. My great passion in life is cricket. Sunday is the best day of the week for me because all the streets of the city turn into cricket greens. A bunch of my neighborhood friends and I have made a team together. We're all crazy about cricket, especially me and Baran. We're kind of the captains of the team. Baran is that big lunk of a guy with the white uniform. Now, maybe he's my best friend, but it sure seems stupid to get all dressed up like that to play in the streets. Although, since he never wants to get dirty, he always sends the others to look for the ball when it rolls under the cars. Even if the street is full of traffic, we don't care. It only makes the playing more interesting. Playing in the street is fun, but it's still my dream to play with an official team and to see how I measure up on a real cricket green. Most of the kids here are just playing around, but Baran and I take cricket very seriously. It's very difficult to break into, though. There's incredibly tough competition. We've really got to run fast. That's what playing in the street is all about. But we do get in trouble all the time. I have a big fan at home, my mother. She loves cricket. When I was little, she used to tell me bedtime stories about all the great cricket players. And not just Indians. She told me stories about English and even Australian players. In fact, it's a sport that originally comes from England. But I think that maybe the Indians have changed a few of the rules. We often look at her photo collection together. She started it when she was 16 years old, and now I'm carrying on the tradition. We can't help it. We play even on the bus. I'm not so sure that the other passengers appreciate our performance, though. For a change of pace, and especially to get away from the complaining neighbors, we've decided to look for a place to play in the city. But I don't feel like walking for miles. I really want to get playing. We finally arrive at one of the biggest cricket greens in Bombay. And are we ever disappointed? There are people all over it. I don't know if we're gonna get to play today. I can't understand how they can play in these conditions. This almost isn't cricket anymore. A lot of them don't even have the right equipment. They use all sorts of crazy things for wickets. Logs, tables, fences, sometimes even players. We'd be better off going somewhere else. We'll never get anywhere here. Let's go. We've decided to go to the cricket club. There's a completely different ambience there. If we can't play, at least we can watch good players. So, here we are, playing in the street again. I'm sick of this. finally decided to take a train to a professional cricket club. You have to really love cricket because the trains in India aren't comfortable at all and they rattle like crazy. Last week, I took part in the annual player tryouts. The players that they chose got to participate in the big match of the season. Today, they announced their choices. I've already tried out three times and I've never made it. The whole team is very excited and tries to reassure me. But I must say that I'm not really counting on it. Maybe Baran will get picked, but I think I'm still too little to take part in the big match. Wow, I can't believe it. The head coach says that he watched how I played very closely and he's decided to pick me for the team. With a good coach on a real green, maybe I can become a good player. He tells me that the most important thing I have to do now is to listen to all his advice and trust him. I'd love to do whatever he says. I can't believe my ears. This is the start of a whole new life for me. Well, I'm all outfitted in white. Do you think I look elegant like this? Finally, I'll be able to try.
train seriously, like a real pro, on a green made for cricket. And let me tell you, at this place, you don't just hit the ball any old way. The players have been training since they were very little. I'm so proud to be here. Discipline, good manners, and tenacity. Those are the golden rules of cricket. My training begins with batting exercises. It's really important to know how to stop a ball that the other team sends at you. That keeps them from making points. But cricket doesn't just come down to that. My coach says that it'll take me at least four years to understand all the rules and subtleties of the game. I can hardly wait. Basically, the way cricket works is that a batsman faces off against a pitcher, and everyone else on the two teams are there to get the ball but not just any old way. The pitcher and the batsman have to make certain moves, and depending on how well they do it, the team gets handicaps. You see, it is very complicated. There are different types of training depending upon the level of the player. Right now, the most important thing for me to learn is how to throw and hit the ball. Just being on this field gives me wings. Good thing I'm so psyched up, because you never stop running in this sport. You need really good endurance. At the end of each workout, I go to meditate in the little Ganesha temple. I pray, and sometimes I leave offerings. I've noticed that each time I do it, I have more energy for the next day. And don't think that the training stops when I get home. Just the opposite. I'm too much of a cricket addict for that. I've set up a ball that I can hit against like a madman until I'm completely exhausted. And I swear that I'm getting better thanks to my little workouts. That's why I'm improving more quickly than the others. It makes them kind of mad, actually. But I don't care, because I've got my mom to encourage me. The other thing I do is concentration exercises. It's very important to be concentrated in cricket because the game goes very quickly. Meditation can be quite helpful. Pretty cute, eh? Today is special. For the first big match, I've been named the captain of the team. My mother reassures me and gives me a last little bit of advice. She tells me to stay calm even while I'm going fast. She's funny, that's easy for her to say, but I've gotta do it. I've been repeating all the advice my mother gave me. It could come in handy. We have to flip to see who pitches first. And of course it's me. Boy, am I nervous. Not a good start. I messed up my first throw. The batter just hit it straight out. Now I'm losing my voice from yelling so much. The other team's really going at it. They're hitting and running on every ball. On our team, it seems like everybody's legs are made of lead. The other team must be older than we are. That does count, because they really are good. Well, it looks like our strategy isn't working. We're not very good on defense. Actually, we're really bad. They make us run like crazy. Plus, they've got all sorts of fans who aren't helping our spirits any. We're really getting hit hard. I'm starting to feel like a lousy captain. I have to react. I can't let us get slaughtered like this. Luckily, it's my turn to hit. I'm better at it. I'm gonna hit this ball as far as I can. There we go. Now my team's got some energy.
luckily, I caught up the score a little bit. It was about time. But the battle is far from over. We're really going to have to give it all we've got to catch up and win. All of a sudden, our batting is really amazing. I don't know what's going on, but everyone is hitting great. My players are winning point after point, and I'm yelling like crazy. I'm not here just for the fun, you know. I want my team to win. So, I must keep encouraging my players. They have to keep up this kind of energy until the end of the match, if we want to make a comeback. Oh no, an accident! That's not what we needed! The other team thinks they've got it won! My players have stopped running! Everything has swung the other way again! We're starting to lose points! And the other team is making fun of us! For the first time, I'm starting to lose hope. We'll never win this dumb match. My team wants me to step in, though. I'm up to bat again. So, I get all my strength together and think about my mom's advice. Stay calm and concentrate. I hit it for all I'm worth, and our score starts going up again. Hit hard, hit even harder. I feel confident again. I really want to let them have it. We've won! It was so close, but we deserved it. My team is carrying me on their shoulders. We even got a trophy. You see how it goes? In sports, you can never give up. Run it faster than you did before. Hold it every time you go for more. Win it, break the limits as you're soaring high. Every time you race in the race, you got to be a champion. Do it, do the best you can, so get it. Reach your goal and take the lead. All you got to be in your life is be a champion. Run it faster than you did before. Hold it every time you go for more. Win it. 